So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of an ASUS Minimax Home Entertainment Center. What I think they actually mean is AT310NT or 3310, 3 ion T-I. So this is a mini ITX motherboard that is designed, as you may or may not be able to figure out, for home entertainment use. It is fanless and quiet. It is amplifier friendly. Okay. It will run full HD video. It has home theater gate and it is slim. I think by slim they mean mini ITX. Let's flip it over to the back where we can see a picture of the board. We can see that this board runs with dual channel uh, DDR3. It has full HD playback, fanless design, ooh, and DTS. So that's what they mean by amplifier friendly. It is Windows 7 ready. It features an Intel Atom dual core 330 processor and NVIDIA Ion. So here it has a user's guide with a uh, with a drivers and applications DVD, which you should throw away and download the latest from the, uh, well, I guess the ASUS website. And then we have an IO shield. We have two SATA cables. So it's a fairly bare bones accessory package, but ASUS has not skimped when it comes to the actual quality of the product itself. Fanless, as you guys may or may not know, is actually far more expensive to produce than something with a fan. And the reason for that is that this hunk of metal costs an awful lot more than a much smaller hunk of metal and a little whiny fan on top of it. So I applaud ASUS for making an effort to make their home theater solutions run fanless. All right, so let's have a look at the overall layout of the board. We have our CPU and GPU both situated under this fanless heatsink. We've got our DDR3 memory slots, two of them over here on the right hand edge. We have a 24 pin power connector in what I imagine is probably a fairly decent location for it, although many ITX cases have very different uh, internal layouts, so it's hard to say what is the ideal location. We have a PCI Express 16X slot down here at the bottom, although I really can't imagine that you'd install a high powered graphics card in a motherboard such as that, but just for giggles, because this is my video blog and because I do as I please, I am going to install a GTX 580 on this motherboard. So the GTX 580, as you can plainly see, is about the size of the motherboard and fits in pretty nicely. So if you have a mini ITX case that supports, uh, you know, video cards that are like four and a half inches longer than the motherboard itself, then you can go ahead and you can install a GTX 580 in your AT3ION T-I. If I could get it out, that would be great. There we go. All right, so let's keep going. We've got SATA 2 3 gigabit per second ports, four of them. We have two front USB headers in what I cannot imagine would be an ideal location because it's going to be pretty hard to access those. You know, but that's okay. I'm sure you'll only have to do it once. We have three fan connectors, which are also in a very, very, very odd location. But you, like I said, you're probably only going to access it once, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. On the back, we've got our output options. So we have a PS2, well, input too, I suppose. We have a PS2 keyboard port. We have six USB 2.0 ports, VGA and HDMI. This is actually a pretty good mix because it gives you that legacy connection and then it also gives you HDMI which can easily be adapted to DVI. We have optical audio out, gigabit ethernet, and then we have simple um, ancient 5.1 audio which I actually don't mind because on a system like this you're probably gonna be using the audio out over HDMI anyhow. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the AT3 Ion T-I. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Ooh.